Beautiful. Uh, so we are live. We are joined by Kelsey Ramsden of MindCure. Uh, Kelsey has the best front page of a deck I've ever seen. It's got a GIF on it, so that makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, so I believe uh, what we'll be doing is Kelsey will be doing a presentation and then David will be hopping on for uh, Q&A afterwards uh, with Kelsey. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you take the take the mic and take the start, Kelsey. Great. Thanks, Patrick. Um, yeah, so welcome, everyone. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Mind Cure at the outset. And then uh, what I'd like to spend my time talking about today is predominantly around our digital therapeutics tool, iStream, and, and why we think it's an important thing um, to know a little bit about. So what we do in MindCure is um, we're a biotechnology company and a life science company focused on, of course, psychedelics. Um, the way that we developed the model was to look at uh, time unlocking timelines of revenue. So in the short term, what can we do in the in the near term? How can we drive revenue? And then in the long term, how can we provide value to our investors and into the market in a way that we're meaningful contributors to the advancement of psychedelic medicine? So part of that, and, and uh, like Patrick mentioned and David mentioned before, we're going to have a conversation about part of our strategy, investing in integrated clinics and, um, and group therapy locations where there are profit models today. We have our digital therapeutics tool, like I mentioned, and then we have long form research that's uh, preclinical. And we announced that we started producing synthetic Ibogaine. So we're in the route scouting of that at the moment. Um, but let's dive into a little bit about where the opportunity lies. So of course, most of us know a lot of these numbers and I, and I won't belabor the point on these kind of things, but specific to iStream and specific to digital therapeutics, that's where I wanna focus our attention today. And if anybody is tuned in who doesn't necessarily know what digital therapeutics are, it's the notion of a technology um, that is rooted in science that enables the service of some form of medical discipline. In our case, of course, it's it's psychedelic assisted therapy. And um, when you think of say like Calm app, that sits outside of digital therapeutics because it's not um, necessarily rooted in, in metrics measurements and science. And so what we see is a boost of the digital therapeutics industry over the last, uh, well, particularly 12 months, um, but it's been going on for a little bit of time. And the FDA actually just recently announced a new program that they're going to start um, mandating the requirements of uh, being called a digital therapeutics platform and what that means to be able to, to unlock insurance pay. And so MindCure is advancing down this, uh, this FDA approval route. And when we think about the psychedelic therapy market opportunity, I think, you know, David mentioned it a little bit before is that there's this gap in where we sit today with respect to legal therapeutic um, adoption and where we'll see ourselves in some time. And so we have a lot of great folks who've been practicing this medicine for a long time and on their shoulders we stand. So I always have to mention that because it's important. Um, and, but then there's a lot of therapists who are interested in pursuing psychedelic therapy as a part of their service offering. And that's where, you know, Atma comes in, MAPS comes in. There's a variety of really skilled and talented folks who are doing uh, meaningful training work. And what we see at MindCure in the advancement of our industry, of course, at the moment, and these numbers are, are US numbers, there's about 1500 ketamine clinics across the United States. And these are, you know, the early adopters who are starting these locations. And then over time, what we see is, again, these integrated therapy models where uh, psychedelic therapy forms a part of a service offering. So the, the lead funnel looks like people come in for some manner of help whether it's psychiatric help, uh, talk therapy, and uh, psychedelic therapy is one thing that they provide within that suite of services. So this is where we really see the market going with respect to there's 50,000 therapy clinics in the, in the United States that we would consider to be um, opportune for this integrated approach. So it's a large market of individuals who want to be trained in psychedelics, who oftentimes want to have a wingman in that therapy and, and it furnish your understanding of what quantified therapy and and these measured outcomes can mean for their patients and furthermore um you know to understand this integration period that not a lot of folks in the industry are talking about but i think that most of us who have participated in the work that, uh, ourselves know that you know we have this this psychedelic intervention moment but most of 
the change and adaptation and the reintegration into life and the long form rooting of what we felt, saw and understood comes in in that integration phase. So again, just a little bit about digital therapeutics and what we're advancing is a B2B model uh, to begin with and then ultimately a B2B to C model where we arm therapists and clients, otherwise known as patients in some people's circles, um, with the opportunity to understand the care and the care paradigm better. So how it works is really kind of twofold. We have an example would be Melody the practitioner, and for her, the advantage of iStream is an opportunity for her to select um, specific in-session music that aligns with the medicine protocol that she's utilizing. We also help the therapist to do a um, number of assessments prior to session. We onboard uh, patients with wearables. So there's a two week period prior to the, to the psychedelic session where we get a baseline of the individual and therapist is appraised of how they're doing on an ongoing basis. And then really magical is during session, uh, the therapist is able to adapt, uh, for example, the music that's going. So many of us who've done say a psilocybin session, you've got your mask on and your headphones on and you're very in and um, so, the ability for the therapist to be able to monitor an individual's heart rate and understand what's happening for them in their body without disrupting them is a great opportunity. And then therefore within that, uh, let's say we came to do some hard work and, and we're directing our attention at, at, at providing tension through the music, the therapist is able to extend or contract that in session. And armed with uh, some really special AI that I can't quite, um, go into too much detail on, we're able to enhance that during session experience in a way that informs the therapist to, to be able to get the, the richest experience in session and um, helps the patient be guided through that session as well. And this, the, the psychedelic session has concluded and then this is Josh, our optimizer. He's, uh, he's come to us with this idea of leading a, a more full and, um, and full life and, and kind of um, fully self-expressed life. Uh, Josh goes into integration phase with iStream where we provide an opportunity for him to not only design his integration protocol um, in concert with his therapist, but that that integration protocol continues to optimize on itself. So it might ask Josh if he would like to do um, some unstructured to structured journal. We may ask him if he wants to do some breath work um, if he wants to do a variety of things. And so over time, uh, what iStream is able to do is to monitor how Jeff is doing, report that back to Melody, his practitioner, and share with her how he's integrating into the world, continuing to build this relationship between the two individuals. And if it is that Josh is starting to, you know, kind of trail off, Melody has a dashboard that allows her to be able to see how he's going and how he's doing. Um, so really this idea that, that, that the integration period could be made exponentially more effective by that relationship um, being garnered and, and the accountability with a therapist really drives up the efficacy of the program. Um, I liked actually what, what, what David was talking about, like these, the stories of the real people. So I always say that data moves science. So in our research and everything we do with iStream is science back. So, that moves the science in a way that we have the research to proof the outcomes of the medicines uh, in a way that we could obviously advance them. Uh, but the, but I think the important piece with this as well for us all to realize is that story moves culture. And so without stories of people like Thomas, who was the very first uh, section 56 psychedelic patient by virtue of Theracil um, and Tony, who is a patient by virtue of that, these folks who are doing this good work up here in Canada, the, the stories of the real people is what's gonna help advance the medicine. And what iStream is intending to do is to also capture these stories for the individual so that they can then retell them. This is a, a schematic of iStream and what it provides. So this idea of it starts with research um, and, and the therapeutic applications, uh, a protocol catalog, if you will, that showcases a variety of opportunities and medicine protocols for therapists to be trained on and then utilize in the field, the assessment services. So understanding which patients work uh, best with which type of 
therapeutic approaches. And then the support suite. So that's the in session suite that's really meant there to both support the therapist, providing the best care and the, and the patient in having the best experience. And then this AI driven data analysis component where we're constantly being able to optimize for the individual when they enter the ritual suite. And then over time, we amass uh, this great data set that helps us to, again, bump up the better uh, medicine protocols that proof to be efficacious and bump up the integration protocols uh, that do the same. So effectively, uh, that's what iStream does. And we're really excited um, to have taken an equity position in Atma uh, as part of our strategy to, to deploy capital into integrated clinics um, and group models so that iStream can go into those locations and help inform the therapies to get the greatest outcomes. So that's, that's about iStream and that's a little bit about MindCare. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I know that David and I are gonna have a little jam session. Hey, David. You brought your guitar? I, brought, um, I wish. So I, I, you know what, I've always meant to learn to play. I can play the saxophone, you know, if we wanna do that. There we go. I'll just hit a drum. Uh, there's actually a question I have about music. Sure. Um, 